Hello and welcome back to Let's Try It. I'm going through more demos to, for the Steam Next Fest. This is Wild Mender. Um, I've, uh, just so you know, preface, I guess, uh, been playing about an hour of this game and it's good. I like it and uh, I want to show it off. It's, uh, but it kind of wears its influences on its sleeve and I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing at all. Um, but it definitely comes across to me as being like half a Breath of the Wild and then half of a, a kind of survival base buildy type of game. Um, it's there's a couple of twists, but honestly not that many twists, and I don't necessarily think that any of that is uh, bad. I don't I don't think that there's any reason to you know um, criticize a game for taking taking in those kind of influences and no it's not just breath of the wild because there's green grass there's not honestly that much green grass you'll see um it's it's an open world exploration type of game um we'll be acquiring resources we'll be um you know fighting some bad guys some enemies uh and also clearing out the landscape and uh i i've i've been quite compelled by it i have to say and um stalling for time because it's almost done loading I, I i always have to like play the gamut of like is it worth doing a pause or not no okay all right so um welcome to my crappy base right now um the only thing i've done to this base so far so you know the limits of uh, base building and uh farming and stuff like that is i built this workbench and i built this lean to uh if, if that's what that's how that's said and uh oh this is dead oh that, that's no good why is that dead punishing heat the, the sun's heat is at its worst in the afternoon increasing water loss when out of the shade interact can i oh can i revive this no not yet okay <clears throat> well um that's fine we'll we'll i'll just let that be for now i wonder why it died maybe it's too close to the water oh cause of death drowning yeah that's exactly why can we put it somewhere a little a little bit uh farther away i'm sorry i'm getting distracted now no it's it's dead it's well dead okay so um I, you know i've been uh collecting resources uh in the form of bashing trees uh similarly you know like um, digging up seeds and then planting them and and we're in a pretty desolate looking desert um Right now, my modes of uh, transportation have been quite limited. Let me, I'll, you know, we'll dig up, we'll dig up a couple things just to kind of show what uh, maybe some of the survival elements of this game look like. And they're pretty good. I mean, I've I've mentioned in previous games um, or previous videos that I'm not a huge fan. In fact, I'm just straight up not a fan of uh, survival mechanics. I find them very tedious but um i don't mind them in this so far it's been pretty 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 okay um they've been very you know um you know they've kept to themselves they, they it hasn't required me to do uh, a lot of management i'm just gonna fill up my bottle here very important to you know, actually bring some water with you not just because you need to drink but i'm noticing over here uh my character top left corner you might see uh that i'm actually quite hungry and actually, I, I've taken quite a lot of damage as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some water on this. This is one of the first things they teach you. Is if you pour some water on those cactus, you get to a nice little fruit. And the fruit um, from this cactus is one of the best food foods in the game. What do you mean sing for growth? Oh, yeah. So I've, I've got some magic powers. They're pretty good. Um, they let me grow some plants uh, right now. Whoa, what was that? Something, something is there a wraith around here making making my uh trying to trying to sneak up on me i did uh get caught out in the um outside without water and i almost died they really don't joke about it if you uh if you don't have any water then you can just straight up die it's the desert okay but i'm i'm seeing all these cactuses and i want to collect this fruit while it's on my mind and this will kind of cover the survival portion of this game you know this is this is what that looks like we'll do a bit of base building we'll do a bit of combat we'll do a bit of exploration and hopefully you'll get a, ooh, you'll get a, a good sense of what this game's about and you can see i'm actually 
you can see how quickly my health is degenerating right now because um i'm out of water and i gotta dr drink some water there we go so but hopefully we can recover a little bit by eating some fresh rain bloom fruit so let's go ahead and eat that i wonder we could plant some it wouldn't be a bad idea to have some of that so I'll eat um, enough to replenish myself, and then I'm going to plant some. Thriving. I like that it's very transparent about, you know, how the plant is going to do. Um, where you plant it. It's, uh, you know, plant mini game or, you know, guessing games are not, not one of my favorites. All right, so it's getting kind of dark out, and that's actually a good thing for us. You know, it's a good idea to travel during the night. For the most part um because you're you're not gonna lose water as quickly i guess i should have replenished before i left i think we'll be okay i really like the music in this game honestly the presentation and the execution of this game is really nice i i really appreciate it um we've got some dirty water here i could grab that we would uh it will hurt us you've been poisoned i didn't mean to drink from it Oops. I meant to fill my bottle. There we go. So we've got this. Uh, this is my mode of transportation right now is, is surfing the sand, which is pretty fun. Um, they, they do say, oh, that'll help you get around quicker. It doesn't really do that good of a job of uh, getting you around quicker. Um, this is this ghost will tell me a story if I use up some of my magic I probably shouldn't have done that, but we're, we're gonna do that. I must have been asleep a long time I remember all this green. This is green fields The reason we want to do that is, th is that gives us memories th that we can use to uh, unlock new skills um, Many of them right now have been crafting but there are also skills for learning new spells for combat new skills for um, farming and then there's some other stuff that i don't know about yet there's quite a lot of game here i will say um here reflect oh reflect and send back projectiles and then oh okay so this is this is guidance we only unlock these by uh fulfilling this the, the story quest to uh help you, you might have noticed like a, a little sigil shaped character uh at my at my tree farm oasis what do you want whatever you want to call it that's uh, sort of what's guiding me to to learn some stuff so here i mean i i don't think that you can't have climbing games or climbing mechanics in your game without being directly compared to breath of the wild i think certainly uh also having like a lot of exploration open world um stuff helps as well but like the craft and <laughs> the climbing is like kind of immediate to me it's like yeah I know what I'm doing here. This is this is familiar and in, in a good way. I like I mean I like Breath of the Wild. I don't think that's controversial. But so what what are we doing over here? Well, we have to destroy that thing. Now I am going to be taking damage. This place sucks. It's not good. Those crystals are bad. Um we need to bring out our copper mirror and I'm going to have to kill this thing now that the way we do that is we take a bunch of damage and we have to reflect its beam back at us oh god i'm taking a lot of damage probably you're supposed to like kill a bunch of stuff before oh, yeah let's just let, let's take care of some of these critters ow okay that's that wraith done there we go that's one shot generally you have to do two shots that crystal on my right side there is also making my life miserable and i might actually die here it'll be the first time i've died but i'm gonna try and not die okay we got we got the thing we need we got some uh crystals some sandstone the oh flint i'm sure flint will be useful i'm gonna try and kill this thing yeah there we go you do get some stuff for killing those things but i mean uh i am you'll you'll see in the top left i i'm that that pink that that's just gone that that's health that's gonna disappear there's no there's no real saving that there may be 
Uh, it might be that I get a spell to heal myself or prevent that uh, damage, but it's just gonna, it, for now, it's just gonna happen. But I'm alive, and that's the good news. And that's actually the last piece of sigil I need. I had to do like three other of those, and I was unlocking new abilities as I was um, collecting them. So hopefully I should see uh, some some major form of progression um, after retrieving this one that we can show off. We uh, uh, kind of we kind of we you know I do like you know I I've heard this statement before and I do semi agree with it that an open world game uh, its strength is only as good as um, the how fun the mode of transportation is you know. I don't know if that's still true. I mean, like open world games have ex have progressed in in a lot of ways, and in some ways they've regressed. <laughs> but like, I do agree with that in some sense. I think that um, they they are gonna be as as fun as like how fun it is to travel around. These um these plants give off. That's like my magic juice. I call it magic juice. Now it's got a name for sure, but um, essence or some nonsense, but. Um, I use that to cast spells to reflect beams back and also to teleport there's uh, waypoints All over the world that let me uh, teleport So there is fast travel Okay, we got we got lots of juice now. We got lots of magic juice nice Love that magic juice. Okay, here you go vidyas. I did kind of I, I don't know if this is like a genuine like the game is based on some culture because like i know that that's a thing that it happens quite a lot these days but i did kind of laugh when it, your your kind of guide is named vidyas um oh can we we can learn healing oh they're about to teach me medicine right i remember now something is very wrong with the world yeah we need to find naya her temple should be where those comets we're heading well the comets are gone now the whole point was to get rid of the comets and now i'm not sure where they're going be sure to bring an offering she loved acorns we need her help to fix this naya is the goddess of water she'll be sure to know what's going on here oh no i think i know what we're talking about here is this this place yeah okay um i did visit this place it kind of looked like uh, you know the equivalent of uh of the 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 castle of um hyrule because it, it looked very doom and gloom and i couldn't even get into it because there was like a big old b um, force field around it so the fact that we're we're getting there is interesting heal the tree we can we can't heal it requires discovering naya's blessing okay that makes sense um expand spring requires discovery water seeker lots of things to discover in this game why don't we do some crafting and uh construction I probably need a compost bin because I want to make some um, planters and you can only make planters if you have fertilizer so let's go ahead and make some compost bins I'm not even sure what we're gonna be putting in that but let's find out compost bin can we put plant fiber in there crafting uh, I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to, well, oh, okay. Maybe we have to put like genuine stuff in there. Um, transfer one. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can throw some stuff, some of that in there. Um, we can throw the root beard mushroom. No, we can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we can. And the sunburst. What does the brittle scroll do for me? Apparently I can eat it and it'll reduce my food. Um, that's a weird one. Uh, we can throw some red ancestral lilies in there But bottom line whoops don't want to put the stop it I don't want to put that stuff in there. I want to I'm, I'm guessing the compost bin we need to put in like perishables and then it will turn into compost But I'm really kind of guessing on that one. They haven't taught me that one. We have a storage basket. There we go It's closing. Maybe it's gonna do something Ancestral altar. Oh, we almost have enough for this an altar that will help you continue commune with spirits of the past Okay, that sounds useful. I just need some wood for that. So let's go ahead and, and chop some wood There we go. We, we don't even need that much Yeah, let's uh, let's see what this does All right 
Um, spiritual ghost. Divine the location of the nearest ghost with spiritual memories. Okay. Arcane ghost. Divine the location of the nearest ghost with arcane memories. Okay, this is kind of interesting. And then we can turn it into a gleaming ancestral altar. An enhanced altar that guides you to the graves of fainter spirits. Now, this is something you're going to see is, uh, like, you'll notice that amaranth grain is involved in the recipe here a lot of the recipes for making stuff that like even relate to combat are going to involve um doing a little bit more mundane activities like like farming and that's by design um this is a game this is this game's multiplayer for one thing um and there's a lot of different play styles like, i mean there is base building there's crafting there's um farming and then there's exploration and combat and, and stuff like that um so it's and it's worth noting all of those different kinds of play styles because if you're playing with your friends um and someone's not interested in doing combat they could just kind of hang out and do some farming they could do something a little bit more uh ca casual cozy you know back at the base uh and i think that's really cool actually i like the idea that you know you don't you're not um required to actually do combat in this game if you don't want to now it is almost daytime, which means it's going to be really hot again. Let's see. Handcrafts learn to construct the basics from wood and fiber, including storage, decorations, and combo bins. Oh, I, I already unlocked that. This is construction. Unlock more advanced, sturdier structures. We could unlock adornments. Craft costume pieces at a loom and trinkets at a workbench. Oh, we'll, we'll leave it for now. I do like the idea. Why don't we go ahead before we go do that big temple? Why don't we reveal an arcane ghost? Because I like the idea of potentially um, recovering or uh, getting some arcane skill points. Oh, we don't need to f literally follow that. It's put it on our on our compass. This is something that might bother people is is the compass is very helpful. <laughs> and I know that's a weird one. Um, you might wonder why I even bring it up. But um, I think that honestly, I think that one of the reasons that, um, you know, Breath of the Wild, I know I know Breath of the Wild did have a very helpful compass in some regard. It had it had features, you know, that helped for sure. But like, I think that's something that people are um, starting to value is, you know, the opportunity to find them, uh, find stuff themselves. I don't mind. I hate getting lost and I hate having to look around for something forever. It looks like the arcane ghost is here, but I'm not sure how to find them. Are they just kind of like hanging out somewhere and I need to seek them out? Or maybe they're only available at certain times in the day. Could very well be something like that. Um, so I think what I'll do actually, well, um, I wonder if I have enough to make a lean-to. I don't, but I could. I almost have enough for a lean-to. And that would be good, because then I could, um, possibly sleep until dusk. And I'm assuming that's when the ghost is going to be more visible. So why don't I cut down some trees and stuff and get some more resources. I can also apparently revive I, I can I can sing to my plants with like magic and stuff and that will um, make them grow I actually think this would be a pretty good stream game you can only have uh, like four uh, it's only up to four players but I still think this would be specifically I think for my stream all right so we've got some we don't have to worry about like you can kill plants um but those are dead already i suppose if we can revive them it still kind of sucks but uh I, I don't like to you know kill plants if i don't have to um i don't know i guess there's no reason why we have to do the lean to there so why don't we let's make a lean to i like putting it right there and see if we can um sleep rest until dusk you can only sleep after noon or after midnight what time is it now well it'll be noon in two hours in game i guess uh, there's no way to wait 
this is this is a bad way of showing uh, things off i, I just want to get some uh arcane skills i haven't gotten any since i started oh there's a wraith over there they're a little spooky it's a odd choice like for the first enemy that you're fighting in the game they seem to just disappear after you fight them like they unless you're in that dead zone they're they're not aggressive they'll just tend to kind of disappear on you all right let's get our bottle and we'll take a drink is this still poison water oh god yeah it is oops Okay. We, we just 40 more seconds and then I can potentially go to bed. I, I'm on. This is a complete guess, by the way. I don't know if. Uh, I, I have to assume that ghosts are only invisible at certain times of the day because it does kind of make sense. Oh, God. Do you like the animations honestly i like the character design as well like it's it's simple but like it it's very charming all right noon interact rest you can just skip this but i want to see it it's actually the first time i've seen it i've been very skippy about a lot of things now please be up here no no still still no maybe they're on like the very roof oh man okay well that sucks and now we're hungry all right let's um can we eat this we can eat that that's actually not a bad food it is a crafting resource and i well, I guess I do have some amaranth at my base. We, we need to eat something. Oh, and that, that healed us for quite a lot as well. Find an acorn buried in a nearby forest. That is our current mission. Surfing is pretty fun. I, I kind of wish there were better opportunities for it. All right, so we're looking for an acorn. I'll, I'll check out this forest. We don't need any more magic juice, right? No, but there is, um, hold on. Is there some juice here? Yeah, fresh dung grass seed. I don't need that necessarily. Is there amaranth? Yes, we've got some amaranth grain. So I guess it glows orange when your fruit is ready. Is there any way to make medication or medicine? Okay. Your workbench should make an adequate uh, workplace. Go to the crafting table and combine the two. And Okay, we can make a healing potion. A poultice. Or an infusion. We don't have enough for an infusion. Oh, we need a root beer mushroom. Hey, I wonder if our... Uh, we should have be able to we, we should have some some stuff to make um a planter box now fill this what do we got here we got three fertilizer nice okay so we should be able to make some planter boxes now although there's a lot of there's gonna be people that are like really annoyed with the fact that i'm doing anything and everything but combat but this is the game if, you, if this isn't for you, then uh, it's not for you. What can I say? Oh, we need two fertilizer. Okay, well, we have one planter box at the very least. We can make it an enriched planter if we get some more bone fragments. We almost have enough to make it an enriched one. I'm not sure. Is this like irrigated soil? Um, I'm not really too sure, so... But, you know, we'll leave it for now. Actually, is there anything I can plant on it right now? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I, I drank some water. Which is fine. You might notice that the water is actually kind of dynamic in this game, which is neat. 
Um, what could we plant here? Let's plant a thorn tail pod. Because those seem like they're going to be useful. And that's going to take up the whole planter box. That circle means they can't be planted that close together. It says dry. So actually, I think I still need to irrigate it. Which is a bummer. You can, like, manually irrigate things. But I, I wonder if there'd be a if there's a better way on that one. There's gotta be a better way. There's lots of magic juice around. What is that glowing pillar? And this is I, you know there it is. I mean like this is a, this game really is a like what's that? Let's go check that out. Let's go and explore. Oh I see that's a waypoint right. I already I already knew that one. Um, so we need to find a acorn. I don't know if we're going to find it here. I don't know if these are acorn trees. We can certainly try. We'll be digging these up. Oh, there we go. There's an acorn. Ah, and another bone fragment. We can actually uh, improve, improve our uh, planter. I don't know. Maybe we should save that, but... Alright, let's, uh, let's go back. We That is fun. I like that. I do hope we get like faster modes of transportation or more consistent ones, but I like that right now. Okay, let's um let's turn this into an enriched planter box. There we go. Let's uh is this thriving? Rich soil plus fifty percent. It's parched. Sing for growth. Yeah, let's sing. Let's sing to it. La la la. Okay. So it, it should be... It should... That thorn tail is well taken care of. Okay. Um, Phil. Bring the acorn to the altar in Naya's temple. Okay, so we needed that, that acorn to... Uh, for Naya's temple. Do we have any... We don't have any food. Do we have any food? We don't really have any food. We have this, but it's not really good enough. Not gonna cut it, really. Oh, there's a spooky wraith over there. Stop being spooky. Hey, I just noticed that uh, there's a now a glowing pillar over there. I wonder if the ghost is finally available. It might be that they are only available at night. And I tried to go too early. We'll go to Naya's temple after this, but honestly, getting some arcane skill points is going to be really, really good. Yeah, okay, so they're only available at night. I've learned a thing. So there they are. Sometimes they do um, give you a quest, and sometimes it's just like spend a, a certain amount of arcane juice to, uh, you know, wake them up. Or awaken their memories. Let's see what the this person would like me to do. They just want me to wake them up. We'll listen to their story. Essence, it is essence. No, it's it's magic juice. Arcane memory acquired. I will teach you what I can. Okay. I think that's it. We've we've got we've got two arcane juice. Craft enchanted sigils that gather essence and repair ancient sigil gates. Nice. We've, we've learned a new thing. Craft enchanted si So I, the, it seems like a lot of the um, memories, the skill trees are based on crafting. You can slide down trees. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to stop delaying. Whoops. Ouch. I'm going to stop delaying and we're going to move over to... Uh, Naya's temple seems like a good way to progress things. I know it's going to be a big, big deal. There's going to be lots of things to fight. And um, I, if I, you know, if I see any food on the way, I think it would be a good... I, you might, there might be that there's a, uh, a waypoint that I can use. Let's also gather some juice. Like magic juice. I, I like that you get magic juice from your plants because it, it gives plants like a double use 
All right, let's see if we can um no recipe. No, I, I want to interact Oh, uh, whoops did not mean to do that No recipes or actions are currently available. Is it broken? I thought I could teleport with it might be broken That's annoying All right, we're gonna go to Oh, there's another uh, waypoint thing over there. So maybe we can use that I know I've done quite a lot of exploration in this game, so I should have another waypoint. Yeah, there is one here. Wee. All right. Um, yeah, there is one. Oh no, no, there's not. Never mind. Okay, so we're we're footing it. We're going. We're we're taking the long way. It's fine. It's a scenic route. We're uh, we're going to that thing, and there was a giant like red bubble around it, preventing me from accessing it. I I have to assume that this is going to be um, kind of uh, challenging. We're gonna be climbing all that the one uh, major difference that people might notice between this and say uh, Breath of the wild is um, There doesn't seem to be too many limits in terms of like how high or how far you can climb uh, Most of your limits are placed on you based on like food and water requirements, so like Climbing is gonna reduce your food and you so you're gonna need to bring food with you But you can pretty much climb forever I suppose if you ran out of food halfway up the climb Then that would uh, You know then you'd fall but like it, it's very slow so you can pretty much climb as much as you want Okay, so first things first Farming no ancestral lily Okay, here we go um We've got a waypoint here. Oh, it's broken. Okay. Temple of Naya discovered. Oh, we've got food here. Thank goodness. I'm gonna need that. This looks like another farming area. It might be that I can use this after I've like, like purified this place. Maybe that's the deal. I'm actually gonna eat one of those now Yummy, okay Hello, uh tiger Prey with the acorn Behind you ah, okay Ow Okay, we've got we've got lots of lasers going on. Oh god One more on each of those Cool that wasn't too bad look at what you've managed for them to stoop so low as ambushing a Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's good to see you again. Ah, uh, but you do not remember me, do you? The wraiths took so much from us, from you. To think they're still, they still awoke after all this time to siphon yet more power from your creation. Sturge will be furious. But here you are, freeing me with nothing but an acorn and simple mirror charm. I am Naya, the mother of rivers. I helped bring you into this world in the hopes of restoring these wastes. Look at you, truly you are invincible. I am proud of what you've managed already. I am rambling. Come here, I have a gift for you. Heck yeah, I like gifts. 
receive Naya's gift. The seed of memory as a gift. Use the spade to dig some trenches near water. Press left to dig a trench. Try using it in return whenever you wish to learn more of my knowledge. Well, is this going to become uh, irrigated? Meadow amaranth. Medium. We got... Oh, I see. What? I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Rock crystal. Oh, rock crystal's good. This looks like something I should be able to mine. I wonder if I can do some mining. Well, let's see if that waypoint is still broken. Because um, if it isn't, then um, I broke those uh, crystals. I wonder if I got some shards from those. Oh, hey, there's some water here. This looks like good water, too. No, this tiger gate is still broken. Can I interact with it? Oh, I, I can teleport with it? Nice. Okay, let's teleport back. I still don't know what happens when you die, and that loading screen was about to tell me, and I couldn't read it in time, which is really funny. Okay. Use the spade to dig some trenches near water. Press the... Yeah, so we, I, I was sort of starting on, uh, on a trench over here. You might notice you can't, there's actually like terrain deformation and then you like use the water. So this is how you can like spread your farm out. The one thing I will say is it doesn't seem to, oh, I guess it does. It wasn't really changing the look of the terrain too much. Like I was kind of hoping that this business was going to, you know, surround the water. Why are we learning to level? Our water is limited here. We can still make quite a verdant garden here. We can make a little river. Looks nice. Um, okay, so we need to plant that seed. Did I need to, did I, did I make a mistake leaving that maybe I was supposed to plant it near the tiger, near Naya? Well, that's going to be a bummer. Hold on. Utility. Oh, there's more, there's more stuff. Sigil stone gathers and stores mana from living plants when imbued with a rune. They grant additional effects. Sure, let's like real quick build that. So apparently, yeah, that'll that'll um just acquire all the mana, so I don't have to. That's kind of cool. We can build another one if I want, but I don't really want to. Um, just looking at some of these other things, statue base apparently. Okay, but um, what is this memory? I guess I can talk to uh, Vidya's. It just probably has some information for me. I'm having trouble finding ghosts. Is there a better way? I already built this. <laughs> it's it's uh, it already it already uh, passed. Craft an ancestral out. Now it wants me to upgrade it. No, I already built it. I wonder if I deconstruct it if they'll give me the resources back. But anyway, none of this is really what I need to do. Helping hand. Objectives complete. The memory seed. Create a root bridge. Cli create a climbing vine. Create a flower path. I give you the seed of memory as a gift. Use it to climb and run quickly across the land. Try using it and turn your... And when you wish to... Okay. Um, but... Oh, I see. Memory seed. Lay flower path. Whoa. Okay, that's faster. I guess you don't have to keep casting it. You can just cast it once and then you're, you're like good to go. That's legit. And then what is this? Root bridge? Ooh. 
That's really cool. It seems to use up my water like in a real hurry. Wow, it's still going. And then uh, what is vine? I, I assume vine is going to let me climb faster. Oh, wow. That is a lot faster. Yo, that's legit. I haven't seen that before. That's really cool. Oh, I don't have any water on me. Um, yeah, that's a problem. Oh, wait a minute. Does that... I wonder if... Um, is this a path that I'm like creating that lasts forever i wonder if i could get to um naya then i could drink some more water oh they're they're quite far away actually all right well let's uh let's hightail it over there if you're going through hell you know keep going This is legit though. I, I, this memory seed is a, is a, like, this is pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. That being said, I, I hope it, it gets even better, but this is, this is really cool. I wonder if I could do like a bridge all the way across there. Do you think I could? That seems like a really far distance. Uh, I don't think so. I wonder if, can you do like a root bridge on a root bridge? No. No, you cannot. I almost straight up died right there. I will say the climbing is a little bit janky. I'd like to see it improve somewhat, but um, you know, the game is still early, I think. I, I don't know why I wasn't climbing. Also, you have to press a button to climb, and I find that to be a little weird i guess they they may have tried like you just automatically climb and it didn't work i have to assume that they did that can you just oh yeah you can just like place another one as you're climbing wow that's really nice all right i ended the flower path i have to wonder is are those gonna stay there All right, let's uh, let's see what Naya wants, and then I'm gonna end this episode pretty soon. But yeah, this game is is really cool. I, I like it a lot. This is uh this is really nice. We have a sealed chest. I need a runic key, which I have two of. We got rock crystal, amber. We got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, were those ready? No, those aren't ready yet. Shucks. What is this um, meadow sunburst shrub all right what kind of quest do you have for me the wind cloak the gods it's true we will need their help i was just hoping it would not be so i wish um, i could speed up these this text a little bit you see we were not all in agreement about your creation oops with the inf uh, interference of the race, I fear things may be more complicated. First is Gleb in the center of the cliffs. The cliffs were his city and he was its center. He had the power to shape the land and may be willing to grant that power to you. That'd be kind of cool. Next is Sturge. She is the goddess of the storm. Well, can we make storms and stuff? Her home is as in the salt flats is not what it once was, nor is she what she once was. Okay. She will be angry. She was against your creation, believing humans were irredeemable. If you can gain her favor, she may grant you the power of the winds and the power of the of flight. Aw, oh, dang. And lastly is Oros. Oreos. Hey, what are you doing here? 
The god of time is cryptic. But you are not yet ready to journey that far. I would recommend starting your journey by either finding Gleb in the canyons. Or if you think the winds will help you more, Sturge is not far from here. Yeah, I mean, I would do Sturge if I was playing on my own. All right. Well, I'm going to call it there. Um, yeah, like I, you can make up your mind about if this is the kind of game for you. I still I think it is early to maybe too early to say, like in terms of, uh, you know, I, I don't think that it is complete yet. But I think it's awfully close, and uh, it definitely feels like a polished product right now. Um, I guess for me, what I'd like to see is uh, it feels a little sparse, you know, a bit. I, I kind of would like to see a bit more uh, hiding in nooks and crannies in terms of, like, uh, things to find. Um, I also think that there's not a lot in terms of monsters, and right now it just seems to be those wraiths. And they feel a little generic. They feel a little bit asset store to me. Um, maybe that seems super insulting, but I, I it's how I feel. I'm sorry that uh, about that, but like it, it doesn't feel, it actually kind of feels like a weird dissonance of styles because it doesn't seem like they'd be the kind of thing I would be fighting. But I don't know. Um, if that's what they land on, then that, you know, that's, that's how it is and that's fine. But yeah, I'd like to see maybe a bit more to, to discover to you know explore um but i like i like the combat well enough it do, it gets the job done i wouldn't mind seeing um why is there this stuff here this isn't you don't want this next to your home do you um i wouldn't mind seeing a bit more depth in terms of the the combat um not it doesn't have to be much more like i'm not looking for a dark souls or even a breath of the wild in terms of combat but I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing something, you know, like, you know, add a little bit of extra oomph, maybe. But uh, either way, I, I like this. This is Wild Mender. Uh, if you've tried this or if you've played this, please let me know in the comments. Tell me what you thought of it. And if you uh, enjoyed the video, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.